First, the anti-vaxxer who's done a complete 180. Amanda Galassi now accepts she had to learn the hard way after catching COVID and ending up in hospital. She spoke to Dimity Clancy as she battles to recover from the virus at her home in Sydney's southwest. Isolated in a COVID ward, Amanda Galassi struggles to breathe. Well, I caught it. I got the COVID. And it's not pleasant. She's also filled with regret for believing COVID wasn't real. Vaccinate people, vaccinate. No, in serious, it's not fun. With our hospitals filling fast, there are many more COVID patients, just like Amanda, who aren't considered sick enough to take up a bed. And for somebody who didn't believe in the virus or vaccinations, Amanda says she's now learning the hard way. You know, at the beginning of COVID, a year and a half ago, I was completely on the side of, you know, the conspiracy theorists that it was, you know, every conspiracy that came out, I was believing it. This time with the Delta, I thought, OK, maybe there is something to it, but now, yeah, I'm definitely a believer because it's very real. It is true, it is real, and it, it's, it will kill you. Battling to get better at her home at Greenacre in Sydney's southwest, we talked to Amanda over the phone from a safe distance. The disability support worker could have been among the first Australians vaccinated, but she couldn't be convinced. What did you think COVID was? Um, I just thought it was just another flu, like we get the flu all the time, and I just thought it was just another, like it was another name for just a flu. But this is nothing like the flu. It's not like any flu I've ever had in my 42 years. It just doesn't seem to go. Instead of getting better as days go by, you seem to get worse. And the symptoms just chop and change, and they, it's like it has a, a mind of its own, a life of its own. And until you've experienced it, it's so hard to explain it. Despite the mother of three always vaccinating her children, Amanda admits she was too scared to get the COVID jab. I just, I guess, was a bit hesitant with the, the um, how quickly these vaccines were um, were produced and, and, and I guess the way the government has used the scare tactics, the threat tactics to make us vaccinate and withholding freedoms, those sorts of things. What have you learnt now about COVID and, and vaccinations? It's, it's not... It's just not worth going through what I'm going through just for a few side effects because this is a side effect. <laughs> this is a side effect of not being vaccinated. The normally healthy 42-year-old is now one of thousands being monitored by stay-at-home compliance police as the state's active cases exceeds 16,000. I would hate to be somebody who's, who's elderly or somebody who's at risk and be feeling the way I feel like... Like, I mean, I'm, I'm very healthy and, and, it, and it knocked me to the ground, this virus. For weeks, our health authorities have warned against following misinformation. There are people who put out uh, false uh, information with regards to vaccines and, frankly, I condemn it. Of 137 people with COVID in the state's ICU wards, 87% of the patients are unvaccinated. 13 have received their first dose, just five, two doses. Minimises the severity of the disease in many cases and certainly decreases mortality. I think the strong message here is don't believe what you're seeing in the social media. The US gives us a taste of how lethal conspiracies can be. America's Centre for Disease Control says almost 80 million citizens eligible for a vaccine haven't had one, with many refusing. And with the arrival of the Delta strain, deaths are again surging, with 1,296 succumbing to the virus in the past week. The latest figures show 99% of deaths are in the unvaccinated. What's your message to platforms like Facebook? Look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. With a long recovery ahead. I feel just, I feel very helpless and vulnerable. Amanda wishes she'd listened the first time.
if you don't believe it, just stay inside. <laughs> you know, spread your spread your anti-vax message from inside your home. And pray it doesn't happen to you. Don't pray it doesn't happen to your family. Possible death sentence. Possible death sentence.